Hey, welcome back to my uh, vlog number six, guys. Um, Lucky Frog Print. Um, I just wanted to do a little uh, introduction of myself. Um, talk a little bit about my uh, history, what I do. Um, so this is a brand new channel um, with that I'm building with my wife, this Lucky Frog Print. And um, as you can see, we have these two Roland DTG printers. And we're really excited about those. Um, because we have a purpose, these have a purpose for the size and, um, the cost. And, uh, we're definitely going to cater to a smaller market, smaller, um, uh, child infant type market. Um, and, um, I think when we were investigating DT DTG, the, the price is ridiculous and the maintenance and we knew it wasn't going to be the way we wanted to go. We wanted a quick, uh, way to get in. Um, easy startup, not a whole lot of maintenance, and um, I've been a, I was I worked for a sign supply company for a few years, and uh, we were a Roland dealer, and the, the company's still around. They're still big out here, and uh, I've always been a Roland uh, guy. Um, at, at the same time, I've been a Graph Tech guy, um, as far as my uh, cutters and stuff like that go. Um, but uh, so I, I think these printers here is what where we want to be. <clears throat> but the purpose of this video is just to tell you a little bit about me, a little bit of my history, and um, also that uh, I decided on a printer. So we're gonna we're gonna start doing labels also with our uh, DTG printers. And um, I was on the fence between uh, Epson C sixty five hundred A and a uh, an Affinia five L five hundred two, and um, they're both fairly new i guess well i know the epson's only like four or five months old um the advantage over with the affinia is um the dual head with the pigment and the oh god i'm gonna itch my nose here and the dye sub or i'm sorry the dye inks and um that sounds pretty good to me but there are some disadvantages i think versus the epson they both have the same amount of uh printing feet per hour and all that stuff. That's all similar and the DPI, the resolution, all that. What I don't really like, well, I mean, it's kind of a trade-off. I don't like the head system on the Affinia with the with the inks that are built right onto it. But the advantage to that is they're user changeable heads. So your heads go bad, you replace those heads. That's fairly easy and cost effective, you know, over the Epson. Um, but I do like the Epson as far as the commercial setup with the separate ink carts and larger ink carts that are 80 milliliter, I think, versus like 28 milliliters, somewhere around there, 25. I'm not sure. I know, I know it's like three times less or something like that. Um, cost, they might, they might kind of equal up in the long run, but I'm not really sure. <clears throat> I just think that the, the Epson would, was a better choice for me to, to choose on. Um, but not to say that I won't buy a 502. They're both fairly priced well. I mean, I got the Epson for 2500 and uh, I bought extra inks and maintenance kit because that first initial setup, you're going to go through a lot of inks to get it going. And um, I'm new to owning any kind of vinyl printer label machine at home. I worked, so, so history with me is I worked for a large commercial sign company. Um, we don't do retail walk-ins, stuff like that. We're just a commercial, uh, large commercial um, union organized. And um, I am a union commercial sign graphic designer. I design, you know, signs um, for businesses. Um, I'm not a graphic, you know, artist, but I know signs. I know layouts for signs, you know, pylon signs, you know, all... That didn't go as planned, so my phone fell off the mount here. Really sorry about that. It's because I keep moving the table. Anyways, I, I design large sign, you know, big projects, pylons with uh, LCDs, message displays, stuff like that. That's what I do. Um, I've been in I've been in the printing commercial printing industry and sign industry for a total of 30 years. I've been doing signs since, you know, I was 15, 16, playing around with vinyl cutters and label uh just uh, doing wraps, stuff like that with, with friends growing up. And then um, I did it as a side business for a long time while I was doing commercial printing. 
large format commercial printing, like Heidelberg, Komori type systems. And um, then I got in the corrugated uh, industry part of that. Then um, I've always been in the signs, like I said. So I became a, uh, I, I worked for a sign company that I, I was a sign maker. I was a fabricator. I'd made signs. I, uh, <clears throat> I did a lot of vinyl work. I did a lot of printing, mounting, all that stuff, assembling of signs. Um, not so much building, you know, welding signs like that, but just assembling signs like that. Um, and then I became, I was always a graphic designer for that. So I always did that. So at the same company I worked for, I'd been there for a long time. I, uh, became a graphic designer for them. So we just, we've been running a, a side business for years, not really signs, but at my house, we have a CNC, two CNC machines. We have uh, a laser. We had two at one time. We have a, a 50 watt laser. We have two vinyl cutters, Graftex. Um, I also have uh, heat presses, two heat presses, and um, various shop, sign shop equipment, band saws, sand belt sanders, stuff like that, um, polishers and things like that. So for years, what I was doing was making small parts, uh, aluminum parts, fiberglass parts, that for the hobby industry. And that's that's what I did for years up until now. And But, you know, I've never really, I've made, and shirts, we do shirts. I, I never really made signs and shirts as a business on the side to help people um, at home because it, I did it at work all day. I didn't want to come home and do it again. You know what I mean? So I did, I we do the hobby, RC hobby industry, helicopters, quadcopters, cars for years, you know, since my son has been little. We have YouTube channels um, that we've grown throughout the years that have several thousand subscribers that we're keeping separate from this because it's not really associated. But my son's been on there since 03. I mean, he's 16 now. So um, he, I have him doing flying and driving RC cars at like two years old. It's really amazing. Anyways, so so that's my history with what I do. Um, this new endeavor that we're starting with my wife, my wife wanted to do this. She wanted to do this. She wanted to start and do this. And I was like, okay, she's always helped through the years, but she's never really like wanted to be involved. So now she's telling me she wants to be involved. And my wife, wife works for the post office. She's been with the post office for years. She'll retire at the post office. So we're never gonna quit our jobs. But hey, this could be something that once we retire, we can we can continue with it. Um, as of now, what I would like to do is I want to I want to do these DTG garments. This is what I want to do with my wife. She wants to mostly do this. I want to keep going with my laser engraving because we do a lot of stuff with that, and I want to do label printing and some vinyl cutting and uh, shirts. That's what I want to do. But I I I, I don't want to do the CNC custom parts as a business anymore, even though it brings me, I mean, I'll be transparent. It brings me about 3,500 in my 90 days on part-time. It brings me over 3,000 every 90 days is what my PayPal uh, averages it out. 30 days, sometimes, usually it picks up, it's got like a good month, bad month, but um, I don't advertise. I, I Honestly, I have websites, but I don't advertise. I'm purely Facebook and eBay. That's it. Um, so I want to keep doing that, but not as, at, at, at the point what I'm doing because I want to make two, three times that doing all this other stuff because the CNC portion of that, what I do at, out of my house, I have, a, I have a commercial, small commercial router at home. I mean, it's beefy, it's rigid. I, I do aluminum 90% of the time. That's what I do. Um, it's too much hands-on for me to do part-time at home because I, I come home, um, well, I'm working from home now for, during this pandemic, but I'll come home now after eight eight hours of work and I'll put in five, six hours. And I don't want to do that anymore no because it's a lot of hands-on work. It's not like coming down here, watching shirts print or stickers print. It's actual four or five hours of getting my hands, you know, burnt into it. That's, you know, that's what it is. Um, I'm not going to stop doing that ever because it's, it, it's, it's brought our hobby to what we have. We have a, a great collection. I, I collect a lot of retro stuff and RC stuff, and I've got a great collection of stuff. But my son wants to continue. Actually, my, we have four kids, and my older two want to start getting involved. You know, they're 16 and 13. So, you know, that's where we're at. We're doing this. This Lucky Frog print, is, you know, hopefully it can take off mostly for my wife so she can, she can get her satisfaction out of it, you know. I mean, we just made a big purchase on these. We spent almost eight grand on these, these machines. Um, 
and uh, we're excited. You know, that's not a lot of money because, you know, 15 grand, we can barely get a big DTG printer that does larger size, which, like I said, we don't want to do that. I know though it's good for dark garments, printing with white and all that, but, you know, we don't, we're not going to cater to black shirts, dark shirts. That's, you know, what it is. And the size format is perfect for us because we have a, a, an i550 that we don't even use, uh, an eye color. So I'm just going to sell that off because that white toner is just, you know, it's hit or miss. And a lot of times <clears throat> I see a lot of people have a lot, a lot of great success with it. And then I see a lot of people that are just struggling. And I, I think that just, it might be just, we don't do a lot of it. If we get where we need jobs to do it, then I'll outsource it to those people and, and give the money to them, to a smaller company like us, you know. But I don't think it's for us. I think it's just too much work that uh, to fight to get it to exactly where we want. But we want to focus on the DTG anyways and regular heat pressing, you know, like shirts like these. So we don't want to really do get into that anymore. Um, it's a great concept. The white toner is just it's, it's great. People have good luck. It's an amazing thing what you can do with it. So, um but that's that's where we're at. That's what that's what I'm doing. If, if I know I don't have a lot of people watching this video, um, eventually, you know, down the line, there's the videos. The videos are going to be here, and I'm I'll have a following. You know, I have a lot of experience. I have a, a lot of, a lot of experience to offer for help, and um, I'm willing to give that. I've been doing signs a long time. Um, I have a lot to lot to lot of free advice and tips to give. Um, not just as part of the not not just the graphic part of it, but the sign making. I'm going to be making our own sign, LED sign. I'm going to be making a lot of the stuff for the studio. I'm trying to get the studio set up so my wife can make videos, so she can get on camera. I, I think she's very photograph photogenic for for the video. She's never done videos with us, so I want to get her on the video. You know, I want to get the kids on the video. So I want to make a nice studio. I want to make it look like I want to make it inviting for her to come down here. We have this basement. You know, let's utilize it. It's a huge. I mean, it's it's a it's a really big basement, so <clears throat> it's it's enough room to do a lot of different things. Um, I'm gonna have set up so I can have multiple cameras set up, um, angles showing printers down, um, and just different things like that. But you know, I want to do daily vlogs for everybody. You know, I want to answer questions, and um, you know, I I just think that with the the state of this pandemic, it's keeping people home. You know, it's great to, you know, even if we don't make a lot of money, I mean, we, we just want to come down and have fun and just get through the times because we don't really go many places. And I haven't, I haven't talked this, talked about this with many people, but I technically almost died from COVID um, pneumonia. I was diagnosed with COVID pneumonia uh, about a month ago, three weeks, whatever ago. And um, I was in the hospital. All My whole family, my wife, my four kids all came down with COVID because I was working still and somebody brought it to work and uh, carelessly put a lot of people out of my work. Um, it's not just a flu. I mean, I, you know, I don't know which, which way you stare at political views and everything. I really don't care because I'm not that political. You'll, you'll never see me get political on my channels ever. Um, I, I, I really don't care for that stuff. However, I, I literally got out of the hospital uh, two weeks ago, Monday, just two weeks ago, Monday coming up. Uh, I was in there for a week. You don't just sit in the hospital when you're sick. I had ambulance come get me. I couldn't breathe. I had no idea I had pneumonia. We we were tested. We, we went and got tested. We knew we had it. They were my kids were all pushed through it like they didn't have it. My older two they lost taste smell, uh, but they they just like they never had it. My wife had a few things, fevers, headaches, stuff like that, but pushed right through and she's back to work already. Um, I on the other hand, it put me out of work and it, I could barely walk now. My legs are really numb. They're in bad shape. I take so much medications, and uh, when I was at the hospital, they put me on a they put me on an experimental drug, the remdesivir, and uh, I I really believe that drug saved me. The pneumonia was so bad in my lungs. I mean, the doctor said that it would be, and he didn't want to say it directly, but it would have been a really hard fight for me if I had not taken this medicine or jumped on it. So I'm still fighting it because they only they kept me in for a week. Um, you've got to continue your progress at home. I take a lot of medicine. Plus, I'm diabetic and I'm, you know, overweight, obviously. So, um, you know, that's my story. Hey, I don't, I'm not afraid to, show, uh, to, to to share it with you guys. It's real. Um, and now, after after I just fought it and fought for my life and, you know, starting this new life, this is what we're doing. Um, keeping a positive outlook. Um, get my family involved. Um, and just... Uh, 
try to try to make people happy. You know, hey, life is short. We don't have a lot of time on this place. So let's make the best of it. So, hey, thanks for watching. I'm going to do more videos every day. Um, you know, if you have questions on anything, uh, as you see my videos go, you'll see I'll start producing videos that uh, I'll do vinyl work. I'll, I'll do a laser. I'm going to do a lot of laser work. I love working on that laser. Engraving, there's so much. If you, if you don't know much about laser engraving, uh, get in, get it, get on YouTube and uh, start searching. There are so many aspects of the business you can get into. Um, it's it's really really amazing. So uh, that's my favorite right now. I do a lot of LED signs, which you'll see I'll be making on the channel. So, um, but hey, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, share my videos. Hey, any way you can help out, let's let's all network together and let's get this going. So the purpose of the video was I'm going. I bought the Epson C6500A. I'll have it in a few days and then I'll do an open box and I'm going to get started on it. But that was the real purpose of this video. So, hey, sorry for making it so long, but, you know, hey, thanks for watching and uh, see ya. Like, subscribe and all that good stuff.